Beautiful day, Patriots. How are you? I just received some information that I thought would be uh, interesting to you as an American citizen in America. It appears that there is a court case that's in the Supreme Court's dockets right this minute. And the court case was first brought up in the state of Utah in the month of October. In the month of October, the 2nd, I believe, uh, the 20th. I am unable to get screenshots. My other phone is broken at the moment. I'm unable to tweet or be able to show any kind of pictures. I do have it written down here on this piece of paper. This is the, oh, here we go. I even wrote down the, the date. On October 20th, 2022 of this year, a gentleman by Roland J. Bronson versus Alma S. Adams. The court case is a petition for writ of Certicoria. I could have mispronounced that. The court case number is 22-380. And this was filed in the state of Utah. It has 388 names on this court case being charged for fraud for election violations, but more importantly, not withholding the Constitution of the United States government. If you go to the Supreme Court dockets right now and look up this case number, you will be able to find this information. I should be able to have this on somebody else's Twitter page later tonight, and there, and then once that's up, I will be able to retweet it on my Twitter page. My phone has an issue where I am unable to use the bottom half of my screen, so I can't comment or do anything like this. But uh, if I scroll up, I can still retweet. So where this case is right now is that this was filed in Utah. Utah has refused to um, go forward with this case and has bumped it up to, now this is a very layman's term, me, Gregory Allen Hamilton being the layman, trying to explain something that's just been dropped into my lap this, within this hour. So I don't have a full grasp of everything that's happening here. But there's some very, very interesting names that I'm sure you guys will recognize. One of them being a Mr. Joseph Biden Jr. Another one would be a Kalama Harris. Another one would be a... Oh, I can't even remember our last vice president. What was his? Pence. Pence. But there's a whole list of names that are on there that are quite interesting that I'm sure you will also recognize that are not, well, I'll let you read the court case instead of me trying to explain something that uh, may or may not be true. But what happened is this, in the state of Utah, these judges don't want to touch this case. So what they've done is they bumped it up to the Supreme Court saying the only way they will judge this is if, it's, if the Supreme Court requests it to go forward. You know how it always got to go up the chain and down the chain. So right now, we do have the Supreme Court that is in session as we speak right now, which is uh, December... 8th, I believe. Yes, today is December 8th, 2022. This just goes along and fills up our eights that we've had the past few months. Everybody's looking for a big drop, big bomb, big uh, moment on the 8th of December. Well, this is kind of big news right now. 
So we'll see if the Supreme Court, what the Supreme Court does with this. But like I say, the, the Supreme Court docket is number 22830, and they have received this court case on October 24th, I believe is what it was, or 20th, and then actually been filed as received into the court system on the 24th of October. If I have more information on this or able to, you know, I couldn't, I just couldn't even take pictures of the case itself on this phone to show you right now. But uh, like I say, I'll be working on this and trying to get more information out for you as soon as possible. But you should be able to find this on my Twitter pages within the next few hours. God bless you. God bless the world. And God bless me and Peggy.